So we're here at Blue Goose Farms. This is my amazing partner, Keenan McVeigh. Keenan is a, uh, an amazing chef, an amazing person, farmer, friend, husband, brother. Everything about Keenan is really special. He makes these soba noodles, and I haven't had any, and so I think today we're gonna gather up some vegetables and make some soba noodles. And then we're gonna make some sweet tea. Sweet tea? Oh, see? See, this is gonna be a nice day. It's gonna be fun. Doesn't get better. All right, let's get one of these little sweet. The Napa, this is the first Napa. Napa. Yeah, this is a different kind. This is like more of like a the barrel. skinny? Cone-headed one, yeah. I'll oh, say. Actually, that's really nice, right? Yeah, it's beautiful. That's pretty. Really Gorgeous, nice. wow. We did a tight planting on it too, so they're a little bit smaller. I'm just gonna throw it in the noodles right at the last minute, just get them like a light blanch. This is the one right here. Look at this, a little sprout. The best. We got our cabbage. We get some coriander and some scallions too. Yeah. And here we'll grab some of the first scallions. They're little first small. First scallions, yeah. beautiful. They can just get Look at that, up. just pull them right out. Oh, wow. Those are incredible. Okay, let's just put this in the eddy. And then turnip. Oh yeah, we gotta get some turnips. Hakarais. There you go, you said it. Yeah, I say it all the time. <laughs> no, you couldn't say it the other day. Hak hakaraka. <laughs> hakaraka. Hakaraka rais. But are hakarais is the same as Tokyo? Uh, yes or no? No. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. People call them salad turnips, Japanese turnips, Tokyo turnips. So many different names. Oh, I know. I think that'd be plenty. Yeah. Two bowls of noodles? Two bowls of noodles. Give them a good wash. Yeah, I think that's it. I got a little table over here. We can set it all up and get it together. I'm hungry. <laughs> I met Maddie maybe like 2016. Yeah, probably. He used to come into a restaurant that I worked at uh, in the city quite often, and there was a little chef's window into the past. Matty would always stick his head in, give encouraging words. He was a big fan of the menu and the food we were doing there at the time. And then we just kind of became friendly from there. It really just, it quickly snowballed into what it's become. He was one of my favorite chefs, and like, and now we're like, we love each other deeply. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd be doing something like this. I love it now, I wouldn't have it any other way. I love cooking and food's always gonna be a big part of my life and I think it directly ties into this place. There is like a responsibility to, to having something like this, this, this property and like, when I was a chef, I used to go to farm tours and do all these things and you're like, you know, you do a farm tour, you learn about it, but then it's just like, you know, you do get excited, but to feel it and to like, yeah. to really see things grow and to see how like this used to just be grass, you know? And, and it's just like, and I think that's what really stuck out with me when I, like when we first were talking, you were like, it should be like illegal for somebody to have like this much yard. Right. Blue Goose is named after my grandfather's restaurant. And uh, like restaurants don't make me feel the way Blue Goose makes me feel. Right. And it's just like, it, it's like the same as having kids or like the way that you love your children or the way that you love your partner or the way that we love each other or like the way that, like everything is so different and, and you get these beautiful aspects from all these different walks of life and different areas in your life. It's really, um, I don't know, it kind of blows my mind sometimes. Doing something for the first time is scary, but I am always like, I'm dumb enough to jump. Either you're you're dumb enough to do it or like you're naive. Yeah. You know, like we're gonna do this. It would have been a big what if if we didn't do it. It was It was too more, big. Yeah, more more than any other what if I think I had had in my life. I'm very fortunate and glad that Maddie gave me the call and he said, you know what, fuck it, let's go for it. You can have the worst days in the world and come out here and, and walk around. It's beautiful. It makes you feel good, period. Here, do you wanna use that? Thank you. I'm gonna do soap in here. I'm gonna do the tea in there. You're doing the tea in there, you, you okay. The Get the tea going. Okay. Okay. Just getting some fresh chamomile buds for some cold sweet tea that I'm gonna make for Maddie. All the chamomile plants on the property have reseeded themselves from last year. We didn't plant any of them and they're everywhere. It's pretty fantastic. Oh yeah, that smells good. I'm just gonna get it into a mason jar and then I'm gonna plunge it into that Yeti cooler and cover it with ice, get it nice and cold for us. See you later.
So soba noodles are buckwheat noodles. These ones contain a little bit of wheat flour, but they got this really toasty buckwheat flavor, really nice chew to them. Oh, right, you got cabbage ready? Because this is only gonna take a couple minutes. Yep. Let's get all the raw stuff in the bowl. Yep. Do you want to cut up this, uh, give this a rough chop? Yeah, yeah. Fresh vegetables, fresh herbs. It just looks so delicious. I just look at this. Cooking soba at the farm is like super fast. There's, you can go out there, grab a couple turnips, grab a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's a fast, easy, delicious way to eat something off the farm oh, yeah. without putting in too much work. Lunch. <laughs> it's beautiful tea. Oh my God. Oh, be careful. Did I trip? You Dude, trip? If you tripped? If I tripped, there's just flies. <laughs> <laughs> you just you know? get out of the grass. These are the days. These are the days we live. These are the days of our lives. This is nice. Yeah, it is. Ooh. Thanks, bro. Thank you. All right? Yeah, good. I don't know. There's not much better. It's like a little piece of Asian pear. Mm hmm It really is something. It really is like a perfect thing. It's better than anything. It's better than anything. See? <laughs> There's the best. Love you. you. Know? Love you. Mm. It feels so good in your belly. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. That's nice. I don't want to say we're the best, but this is kind of just as good as it gets. <laughs> it is really, yeah. yeah. You gotta pinch yourself from time to time. See, we finish this and then we go hit some balls. I'm done. Crank them back to those fucking losers. Where'd it go? It's gonna, it hasn't landed yet. Dude, I'm gonna launch this one. <laughs> See one arm? Watch this. One arm. I'm so terrified of this right now. <laughs> <laughs> Seems stressful. Whoa, you said that one over there? Yeah. Boom, there you go. Dude, right there. That was. You get that one? <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Boom.